Uh, greetings, this is Dan, a.k.a. Riverat728 in the state of Maine, just outside of Bangor. And I uh, thought I'd do a quick video of, um, uh, first of all, a little bit of history with, with this radio. I first got it from an, an old CB friend of mine that uh, uh, that didn't uh, need the radio anymore, because uh, also the PLL was uh, shot. It wasn't working quite right in it. So at the time, I was, uh, uh, this was nearly 10, 10, well, no, over 10 years ago, probably more like 15 years ago, I was looking for, um, you know, a you know a junk radio to, uh, to you know, because I'm a hammer operator as well. I wanted to uh, do a CW beacon on 10 meters. <clears throat> Anyways, so I ended up using this radio for that purpose and had that on the air for nearly 10 years uh, before uh, before part of uh, a part of it failed. And uh, this thing has been heard all. This particular radio has been heard all around the world, uh, all the way to New Zealand. I remember that I had a station in New Zealand that uh, that reported, uh, uh, you know, with a QSL. So kind of kind of neat. Uh, this was set up in, in my hometown of Callis at my parents' house, which is right on the uh, border to New Brunswick, Canada. So this was considered the easternmost 10-meter beacon in the whole United States at the time. Uh, I still have a beacon there, but it's uh, uh, I use a different radio with it now. But anyways, that's a little history on this radio uh, uh, that far. So when the, when the radio failed, I put it up in the closet for a few years, and um, I had another radio that I wanted to send down to Troy Radio Service to put this um, DDSBFO kit into. And I thought, what the heck, you know, I mean, either, you know, I, I didn't feel it was really worth trying to re have somebody local repair it. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll send this radio down with the other one that I wanted to have work done on it and uh, see what they, if they felt that it was worth uh, putting a kit in, do it. If not, then just send it, send it on back with the radio as is. As it turns out, they decided to um, put it in and... Um, and they did uh, some work to it to make it a, a somewhat working radio again. Now it doesn't uh, put out very much power, so I mean, I, I you know, I already did a test on it there, and I think it was, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was under 15 watts, so it doesn't really do very much. And as you can hear through the audio there, there's a, there's a, uh, you know, a kind of a, you know, a raspy sound coming out of it. So it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a play around radio, I guess I'd, I'd call it. But uh, with the DDSBFO kit in there, with the multi Roger beeps that it has, along with uh, the radio that already has the ro uh, Echo robot voice and voice changer, <laughs> this is probably somebody's ultimate noise toy radio. I mean, I'm way beyond uh, really doing much with noise toy stuff, but uh, yeah, it just uh, kind of makes you in a nostalgic way. You know, I, I would have loved having this radio when I was a teenager, <laughs> the way it is now. But anyways, uh, for the sake of this video, I uh, put the uh, Roger beeps in random mode, so if I key up. So as you can hear, it has a lot of different Roger beeps in it. I know it just goes at random. Okay, and of course, if I flick the flick the um, robot voice on there, so hello, testing one two three. <laughs> so it'll do these random Roger beeps with it. Same with the voice changer. Hello, one, two, three. And of course, you got the echo, which I can turn up and uh, trying to do it two hands, you know, two hands here. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Test. Tap, 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 tap. Audio. 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 <laughs> so yeah, kind of, kind of nostalgic. I, I guess that's how I would put it. And you also have the original Roger beep that was in that can go along with the other Roger beeps. Hello? Test, test, test. <laughs> yeah, so like I say, just kind of an ultimate noise toy, you know. Uh, uh, radio is, uh, I guess it's all it's really worth worth now. I mean, it does have a pretty nice scanning feature. If I um, hit the, you know, this is where they put the scan was onto this button right here. Do that. And it scans right through all 40 channels, you know, I mean, pretty quickly, you know, so just kind of a, <laughs> just kind of a neat, uh, neat thing that this thing will do. Whoops, click that by accident. Well, anyways, that's all I have for this video. I just uh, thought I'd share that, uh, uh, you know, what the, what this thing does, at least in a noise toy sense, you know, like I say, just kind of a nostalgic thing. All right, 7-3.